Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video, I thought we could once again have a look at fishing. Because of the XP extravaganza right now, it is your best opportunity to get fishing done quickly and painlessly. So I wanted to cover a few ways, places, and items that will make this even easier. So let's get into it. Fishing, unlike other gathering trade skills, levels based on the size and the rarity of the fish. It isn't level dependent, like farming wordwood gives more experience than greenwood for example. So while leveling fishing, your target will be to catch larger and rarer fish as often as possible with legendary fish and treasure chests giving the most experience possible. So the gear you choose to wear while leveling your fishing will have a huge impact on how fast you level. I will share the set I use both while leveling my fishing on alt as well as farming on my main. This set is a moderate investment, but more than doable, and for the amount of time it will save you, it is a very good investment. So for armor, I use the Vengeful Fisherman Hood, the Fierce Fisherman Smock Quest Reward, the Vengeful Fisherman Gloves, the Fierce Fisherman Pants, and the Vengeful Fisherman Boots. For a fishing rod, I use one I crafted with Lucky Night 3 and Lucky Day 3, so that I am covered for both. The reason I use this gear is for the Lucky Waters 3 on each piece of the armor. This pushes me to a place with fishing luck I really want to be in. And of course for trophies I use 3 times major fishing trophies. In the past of course I use one of each, but since the May patch they have made the major fishing trophies stack to 3, so those are now my preferred option. Now, altogether, what this does is put me in a place where I'm always going to catch rare fish from 2 star fishing hotspots, and always catch legendary fish or chests when I'm fishing in a 3 star hotspot, and this is all I will catch, nothing else. So during this event you will be seeing huge experience shots every cast from every hotspot. The legendary fish alone will equal out to about 10 regular fish if you're not using this set. So you see, the investment is more than worth it in time saved. Now, let's have a look at the route I use while leveling fishing. This route works very, very well. I leveled my alt from 0 to 200 to test right after the event went live, while watching Obi-Wan, and it took me less than 5 hours to fully complete my leveling. This is massive speed for fishing in New World, as many of you know who did it the hard way. So from level 1 to 75, I started my fishing leveling in first light. The reason I started here was because it had the most low level hotspots for me to run between. But also, while running between these hotspots is a lot of iron, oil, herbs, and other things for me to quickly hit on the way by while running from hotspot to hotspot. You will level to 75 very quickly along this route. When I hit level 75, I headed straight to Weaver's Fen. I love this route. Not only will you level your fishing quickly, but you will also farm a ton of oil, as well as hit the large chest route in between hotspot farms. This will be a very profitable run overall. I got many trophy upgrade items I wouldn't have gotten otherwise, because I don't know about you, but I often want to come run this trophy furniture recipe route. But after one run, I'm over it. But when you're here fishing, it becomes a nice break in between hotspots, so it is great. You could easily just run this all the way to 200 right here. But I didn't because I got an idea as I continued running my trophy chests. So I stopped here at 150 and moved to my final route. From 150 to 200, I ran this route around Restless Shore. Now what led me here was while running the chest, my mind was in luck. Every one of these hotspots will yield you oysters, which gives you tier 4 and tier 5 pearls that when socketed, give you 0.45 or 0 0.50 luck respectively. The main reason though was knowing I had to fish a lot to finish the grind, I wanted to catch something that would make me feel motivated to doing it. So it felt a lot nicer fishing, knowing that every pearl I cracked out of an oyster was going to get me 50 to 100 gold, fast sell. And in the end I ended up with 97 pearls, which all sold. So I highly recommend hitting this route to finish up your fishing, if not for the efficiency, but for the nice payout at the end, so your time has felt productive. While doing this grind, you will want to stop when you hit certain level thresholds in the fishing skill to complete the quest chain. The rewards from this quest chain are very helpful, and at the end, when you have reached level 101 fishing and have completed all of the quests, you will be rewarded with a free gear score 600 legendary fishing rod, which is amazing if you are unable to get an ironwood fishing pole due to level. These legendary poles are random and not the best you can get, but they are great and have pretty cool looks to them. Here are the poles you will be pulling a random from. There are also a few hidden titles you can unlock while fishing, besides the ones directly associated with the skill level. These are Feeling Crappy, you get this when you allow 10 hooked fish to get away. A Real Expert, you get when you catch 5,000 fish. Fishing for Life is a title you will get when you catch 10,000 fish. Heavy Scale Expert, this is when the total weight of the fish caught reaches 10,000. 
and fish weight lifter. This title you will get when the total weight of all fish caught reach 20,000. So now that you are max level fishing, what can you do with it to make gold? A lot of things actually. With Amazon removing gold from the chests, it may feel like there is no point to fishing anymore. But this could not be more untrue. The chests you catch will provide massive amounts of materials for jewel crafting, gold, platinum, silver ingots, along with all qualities of gems. And these chests are not all that rare when you are fishing in hot spots. Also, the pearls from oysters always sell for a pretty high amount. There are some really nice high tier food recipes that require rare fished items. Fish oil, once converted to cooking oil, always sells very well and very fast on the market because it is needed in almost every recipe. The legendary fish you catch are needed for a lot of endgame stat recipes. And with the changes to Arcana, now those cod eyes, starfish, gills, etc. will start seeing an increase in demand. So fishing is just as viable as any other gathering profession and, if done properly, can still be a very rewarding and satisfying way to earn that gold. And the nice part is relaxing. You aren't chasing nodes, fighting off campers and so on. You just toss back and fish and watch some Netflix. So guys, I hope this quick video has provided some useful information for you to get that painful fishing grind done tonight. Because as we know, the event ends tomorrow. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.